Financial independence is easier to achieve than ever. I'll explain why and how today. First off, I don't think I need to spend much time proving to you that financial independence is popular. You clicking on this video might actually help prove my point. More people than ever want to be financially free. As you can see, the term FIRE movement has really spiked in terms of search since 2018 when actually I first learned about it. It's becoming especially popular with millennials. This article on screen explains how Insider spent 100 hours with 70 millennials and the two themes that did emerge are number one, a desire for financial freedom, and number two, a desire for home ownership. For these 70 individuals, financial freedom means a lot of things. It's being able to spontaneously take a vacation, leave a job, or really just spend money how they want, when they want, without stress or anxiety about it. These millennials highlighted that being debt-free is a big part of that, which does of course include student loans. Home ownership could be folded under financial freedom as it's an excellent way to build wealth. It's not as accessible these days it seems, but that's a different video. People want less stress in a more peaceful home and work life. They don't want debt. They want to be able to buy a home and they don't want to worry about a financial emergency, but I'm just scratching the surface today. This is the obvious stuff. It's not the reason financial independence is so popular. What's the why behind these desires? Why are more people than ever seeking financial freedom, financial independence, and even early retirement? By the way, my name is Frankie. I typically talk all things financial independence and FIRE movement. So if you're into those topics in this video, consider subscribing if you haven't. Now, this is where this video takes a totally different turn than my original outline, as you're gonna see here in the end. In research, I came up with a different answer than my notes and hypothesis. I think it actually has a lot to do with the fact that more people than ever are seeking passive income. This Keywords Everywhere chart and this Google Trends chart shows that dramatic spike in searches over the last five years for passive income. This is not the simple answer, but it's definitely part of it. So I wanted to start here. Passive income is the holy grail of income and it's easier than ever to earn it. Now that said, passive income is anything but easy to achieve. It requires hard work and effort, of course, but the idea is to put in the effort once, perhaps over a week, a month, a year or years, then reap the financial rewards indefinitely. Now my definition of passive income is earning a disproportionate amount of money for the effort put in. Now, sure, we all want more money by doing less, but what's unique about today is that it's become easier, like I said, to do so. Okay, but what's the why behind passive income? I talk about this a lot, but most people's ultimate goal, or perhaps it should be if it isn't, is to be in control of our time, to be a master of our time, to do what we want, when we want, with whom we want to do it with. Passive income certainly helps allow that. Now, a nine to five, trading your time for money, not so much. That's because passive income is scalable. That's what makes it so appealing. Plus, these days, opportunities are almost endless. Previously, it seemed that the only way to truly earn passive income was through real estate, buying a part of a business through the stock market, or perhaps just buying a business altogether. But all of those could take a great deal of capital. Most people don't start with a great deal of capital that they can use as a form of leverage. And by the way, leverage, that's the answer as to why financial freedom is more popular to seek out than ever. Well, actually, it's the evolution of leverage. And this is where Naval Ravikant comes in, probably totally mispronounced that. He says, we must find a position of leverage. In my opinion, seeking financial independence is so popular because of the fact that leverage has never been so easy to obtain and use to make money. Yes, including passive income. Let's discuss this idea of leverage because he explains it brilliantly and I found it very eye-opening. Perhaps you will as well. By the way, you can learn about all this via his tweet storms that he's well known for or his podcast, but I actually picked up this book, The Almanac of Naval, and read it recently on my honeymoon and my goodness, what a book. It is just packed with wisdom and even saying that feels like an understatement, but actually, it's not written by Naval, it's written by Eric Jorgensen. 
He created it as a, quote, public service, he says. I think he's just a super fan and also a really smart guy. And while this whole book blew me away, especially the finance section, it was page 54 that made me sit up in my seat. It's why I think financial freedom has become so popular. It's the section called Find a Position of Leverage. And a few pages later on page 58, Naval says there are three main types of leverage. The first kind of leverage is labor, which is other humans working for you. Naval says it's the oldest kind of leverage and it's actually the worst form of leverage. It's messy and requires leadership skills so that your people don't turn on you. It could also cost you money if you want to literally pay other people to do your work. These days you could do this via sites like Fiverr, Upwork, or even Craigslist. So labor again is the first kind of leverage. The second kind of leverage though is capital. This is what I was actually talking about a minute ago, and you've probably heard of the concept, you need money to make money. You don't need it per se, but it certainly does help. It's how many millionaires have actually become billionaires. It's a trickier form of leverage to use, he says, and it's the dominant form of leverage that's been used in the last century. The best part though, is that it can scale very well. If you get good at managing capital, you can manage more and more capital much more easily than you can manage more and more people. But how do you use money as leverage? Well, it could be buying rental properties perhaps or a piece of a business in the stock market. You could even buy an entire business like I mentioned, or you can create and replicate and sell a product or products. But again, acquiring the capital in the first place is difficult and the reason this form of leverage isn't an option for most people. Yes, you could take out loans or find an investor, but this can be difficult and could put you in a tricky debt position if you're not ultimately successful. The third form of leverage though is brand new and most important. It's products with no marginal cost of replication. Think digital products like eBooks, media, movies, and code. And he's a huge fan of coding, by the way. He calls it the most powerful form of permissionless leverage. Products with no marginal cost of replication started actually with the printing press, gained momentum with broadcast media, and now it's blowing up with the internet and of course, coding. You can multiply your efforts without involving other humans or needing capital from other humans. This YouTube video on my channel, technically it's a form of leverage. It was near impossible to earn money doing this even just a decade ago. Now all I need is time, some ideas, any camera, and access to the internet. And with this channel, I can bring on sponsors, work with partners, promote my own products, and so on. It's all leverage. Anyone can start a channel, start a podcast, or self-publish their own books, like I have actually self-published too. And I haven't talked about these in a while, uh, but I will link to these below as always. Check these out and support me and the channel and learn a thing or two or 10 about managing your money in the process. But for more leverage, I actually earn money by writing blogs on Medium. I also earn money through affiliate links, like the book links I just mentioned in the description, or getting rewarded to help sell other people's products that I don't pay to make or manage. I also have a course, but that's hard to sell without capital to market it better. I often preach diversifying your income and building passive income streams because this is what can get you on the fast track to financial independence. I actually have eight sources of income beyond my nine to five and I didn't need to ask anyone for permission to get started and neither do you. With labor, you need other people to follow you and with capital, you need someone to give you money to invest. That's why this type of leverage, being able to create products with no marginal cost of replication is what has so many people excited about passive income and dreaming about financial independence and even early retirement. The best example is media, which anyone can create for others to consume online. It's TikTok, it's coding, it's Twitter, it's Instagram, it's Spotify, it's YouTube. It's all permissionless and it's never been easier to do so. Naval says, forget rich versus poor, white collar versus blue. It's now leveraged versus unleveraged. More people than ever have woken up and realize they're never going to get rich renting out their time. People are realizing they can earn with their mind rather than strictly earning with their time. You truly can think and grow rich. So perhaps the reason seeking financial independence has become so popular is because establishing leverage 
creating passive income, becoming a company of one or becoming a solopreneur, it's all more possible than ever. The blueprints are out there. The stories are out there. The education is out there and the internet has made it all possible. It's more accessible to anyone to create something from nothing, to no longer tie your output to your input, but to earn exponentially more than the time that you put in indefinitely if you do it right. Now, we thought the nine to five was the only way, the American dream, but the great resignation is actually proving that we no longer feel that way. People are waking up to what's possible. They're quitting their jobs, they're going online, and they're doing it without money, help, or permission. They're seeking a richer, more free life where they get to work when they have the energy in a sprint, but rest and relax and enjoy life otherwise. It's here to stay, it's the future, and office culture and businesses, well, I think they're gonna have to get very, very creative to keep talent and continue growing using this old model. People want more. They want financial independence. They want to make a difference, and they're discovering they can actually do something about it. Four years ago, I never dreamed about financial freedom. I never dreamed I'd write a book or two or work on a third or would have the courage to share ideas in front of a camera here on YouTube, but discovering this form of leverage has been life-changing for me. Now it has me pursuing financial independence and early retirement, concepts that I didn't even know existed four years ago. So what can you create? How can you build products or media free of the cost of replication? I really hope today's video has you thinking about that a bit. And by the way, if you've already done this and created passive income, I'd love to hear about it. Tell me in the comments, I'd love to check it out as well. If you're loving this topic and want more, I highly do recommend this book. I am still picking up new things, rereading the finance section for the second time. It is just packed with eye-opening wisdom, like I said. I will link to it below, pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging with me today. It's not where I intended to take this video when I got started. Everything on screen was actually my original outline that I ditched, but all very cool stuff too. You can give this a pause if you wanna know my first eight reasons financial independence has become so popular, I guess. If you enjoyed this video on my pivot, be sure to give it a like. It really does help me reach more people. I make videos about all things financial independence, so if you wanna join my journey and explore this topic with me, consider subscribing for videos weekly. My name is Frankie. Your name is Awesome Possum for getting to the end. Actually, no, possums are kinda gross. Have an awesome week or weekend ahead, and I hope to see you in a few days on the next one. Thanks. And if you wanna know more about those eight streams of passive income, be sure to check out this video next. I detail everything with full transparency. Or this one, YouTube thinks you'll like it. Have a good one, thanks.